A nearly 100-year-old pen maker in Coventry is going out of business. Garland Pens makes promotional pens and branded gifts. They even made the pens that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi used to sign the articles of impeachment against President Trump. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter spoke to the company's owner and joins us now with why he says Garland Pens just could not survive the impact of the pandemic. Around since the 1920s, the pen company says they've survived a lot. But like some other local businesses, they couldn't survive a pandemic. Before the invention of the ballpoint pen, the microwave oven, and even the electric razor, there was Garland Pen Company, also known as Garland Writing Instruments in Coventry, making pens since 1927. Rick Becker says his pens were used and purchased at business events, conventions, trade shows, and parties. Events no longer happening. What else can you do? You, you do what you can. It's, you know, we've, we've been working hard to keep things going, and it just wasn't in the cards, and so we have to figure out something else to do. So we wanted to give everybody a heads up, make some plans, whether it be our customers, our suppliers, or the employees. The company currently has about 12 employees. Before closing, Garland was even placed into American history, making the pens that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi used to sign the articles of impeachment against President Trump. You know, this beginning of this year was looking good, and then, you know, we just we hit a wall basically in March when, you know, everything was shutting down. You know, we weren't really considered an essential business. Then there was some PPP money that became available to help small businesses like ours to reopen, and it just wasn't happening. They are closing at the end of the month. We just want to thank everybody for, for all their business. If anybody wants to get a Garland pen before we um, close the doors, we're at 1 South Main Street in Coventry. We have a small storefront there. Now, although they say this is the end for now, they're saying best case scenario, someone buys the business as it's now for sale. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.